in the midst of hearing my best friend died, I'm reading that a bunch of my classmates were taken in this raid. We're all young black kids from the Bronx. Why is the feds involved? Why, why, why is ICE being called? Over 700 law enforcement officers descended on Bronx East Chester Gardens and the adjacent neighborhood of White Plains Road. 700 officers included NYPD, ATF, Department of Homeland Security, and ICE. Homeland Security came to this humble community. ICE was established to, after 9-11 to deal with terrorists that, that attacked us on 9-11. And for some reason now they're flipping out here, treating us like, like we're terrorists out here. We're not terrorists here. A transnational gang, by definition, is a group of people with at least one individual who is not a U.S. citizen, who is involved with criminal activity, but the, the other aspect is it has to have some international connection. So if we're connecting or communicating, whether it's by text message, email, and you have this one person who is not a U.S. citizen, and they're committing some form of criminality, and they're doing it in conjunction with others, you have a transnational gang. Once they get that label of being a transnational gang member, they become a target of HSI. The Bronx 120 case that HSI worked, 90% of the people were not foreign nationals. The crime itself was pretty much within the confines of the United States. It is the perfect example where they put a label on something that once you start to look at it, it's not a transnational gang. It is not a transnational investigation. They have access to Falcon. They have access to all these kind of databases where they're all talking to each other, the CIA, all of this stuff. All of us are impacted by this relaxation of due process, by this allowing for this kind of treatment of individuals, be they citizens or non-citizens. We've, we've missed him for all this time. The fact that he's coming home, we are so thrilled, we are besides ourselves. And he's gone through a whole ordeal in solitary confinement. He has gone through a rough time. I felt like I was alone, you know. We're not terrorists. They have us as we're terrorists. They took me away from my family. I felt like they abducted me. We took the plea as opposed to going to trial. So when you have a judicial system set up the way it's set up, we can expect anything positive to come out of it. You know, and, and being a black, being a black man in, living in America, you know, it's ridiculous. This whole thing is totally ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It was unjustified and it was also unlawful. What they did to these kids was horrible. They destroyed their lives and they destroyed the lives of many families in the Bronx. I think that tactic alone is a part of placing fear into someone. It's, it's supposed to break us. So we won't fight back. We won't resist, as they say. It's okay for you to come in my home. Why not? You're the government, right? 